I would say good morning everybody, only it's lunchtime. Or probably after lunch by now, it's probably about 12.30. Those are the woods next to my house, by the way. Anyway, we're moving cars around because we're gonna take Bob's Barracuda out. He's sm laughing and smiling, I'm not sure why. Um, that you're, that you're uh, documenting it. Yeah, so we're gonna take the Barracuda out. He has a 1973 Plymouth Barracuda, FYI. Uh, I need to do a piece of artwork um, inspired by the Barracuda for which I need reference photos for his office. Plus he wants some pictures of the car for the car's Instagram. Yes, the car has an Instagram. That's the car. Anyway, it'll take a bit to get it started and warmed up because she's old. Anyway, we're going to go get that done, and I'll be back. She gets started eventually. It is Monday morning, May 23rd. I don't know if it's ever a good start to a Monday when you have to make an appointment for a mammogram and call about a bill for somebody else and then hear from the receptionist who answers the phone that one, they have a two office manager, a two office manager, a new office manager, and two, that they've been having trouble with the old management not sending bills out to the insurance companies for at least the last six months, which might explain why we got this random bill in the mail, but it literally had no explanation on it. I don't think this is a good start to a Monday. <sighs> All right, on to the next thing. Bob's work meetings. This is the first time in quite a while I've been out here like this. No jacket, no sleeves. First time this year. Yeah, it is a very warm spring day. And I'm not degrees. Yeah, 72. I'm not mad about it. So anyway. Alright, we're gonna go get some steps in and see what we can see in all the spring where we live in Oregon. <laughs> That is not pillow stuffing. And it's not that, snow. It's not snow. It's cottonwood fluff from all the trees. Makes me want to itch myself crazy and cough just looking at it. It's all over the place. But I've used up all my cough drops. Let's That's see okay. if there's any ducks. There's ducks here. There's two of them. There is. A boy and a girl. Of course, now they went behind the bushes where I can barely see them. They're there. Gotta love the ducks. Huh. 
Nope, I don't know where he went. He came this way. Yeah. We call it that way. Don't see that. Raccoons and things cross our driveway nearly every night, uh, including coyotes and things, which I don't come out here to look for because they're coyotes. But I'm really curious where the raccoons are going because we never see them. The coyotes, they just like park themselves in the driveway and look around for probably a cat or something. I don't know. Sometimes but they poop in our driveway. Yeah, sometimes they poop in the driveway. We don't know what the ra raccoons are after or where they go. No idea. Holy cow, that thing's grown. It's grown a lot. Planted a new bush and you can't see it because it's dark out, but it's already huge. It's, it's got bigger. Hold, hold on. Right there. It was like maybe half the size when we bought it like two weeks ago. Yeah. Still no idea where the raccoons are going. No clue. We're just, you know, it's a curiosity thing. We've been here four years. Happens all the time. Freaking raccoons, but I don't know where they're going. And those, huh? Yeah, it's too dark and those little suckers are fast. So anyway, morning. but it's afternoon. <laughs> it is Tuesday, May 24th. It is, what time is it? 1.29 p.m. I know. I have spent the morning um, painting. So um, I'm also like listening to the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trail because it's kind of like a soap opera. And so like, it's fascinating. Anyway, um, I have been doing car paintings lately. If you haven't followed my painting journeys recently, I don't know why, but there it is. I've done, I started just doing them in my journal and then I did one for a gift for the son-in-law for his birthday. My husband said, oh, that's cool. You should do one of my he has a 1973 Barracuda, if you don't know. I should do one of my car. I'll hang it in my office. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't going to do it today, but I ended up doing it today. Having everything ready and, yeah. So anyway, how's your day? Um, tomorrow, I think, is going to be an errands day. Um, but I'm going to clean up my mess and... I don't know what I'm going to do with that exactly. That's the palette of colors I used on this painting, Dan mostly Daniel Smith colors. And um, yeah, I'll clean up my mess and we'll take it from there. I'll be back. Yeah, these are the two little dogs that we sometimes see here playing in their yard, Betty and Gypsy. So you can tell they're spring. Somebody spelled their names out in rocks. But the puppies must be in. We're headed out for a walk because, you know, got to get the steps in. Before dinner. Before dinner, yeah. All right, I'll be back. It's a good walk, but I do have to say, where'd the sun go? Yesterday, we were out here walking, sweating buckets, wishing I'd brought a bottle of water in my tank top. Today, it's overcast, it's been rainy, and I've got my jacket on. And it's, yeah, what the, the WTF. <laughs> I mean, I am trying to curb my foul mouth, but you know. Holy cow. All right, we're gonna get the rest of the walk done. I'll Everybody, be back. It's 10, 18 a.m. Wednesday, May something. 25th, I think. Anyway, I gotta go check the P.O. box. I need to go run a couple of quick errands. Not gonna do a lot of like grocery shopping or anything because Bob has Friday off. So we will go do that then because I hate doing it and I'd rather do it together and do it by myself. But that being said, we do need a couple of things for dinner tonight. So I'm out of salad. I eat salad a lot, almost every day. And I'm out of salad, so anyway. Hi guys. I can't even see you because the light is so bright. I guess that's better than yesterday. Anyway, it's been a crazy eventful day. I got a whole bunch of watercolor sketches done in my journal. Uh, well, it should get posted to patrons and supporters first. Holy cow, this is overgrown. Um, and uh, look, you'll all see them, but in a few days, if you follow me on social media. So anyway, we also have 
couple of different appointments tomorrow, including I have counseling. And then we found out our new couch is here. <laughs> so, and it's coming on Friday. And then we're having like a bunch of family over for dinner Friday night. It is gonna be, I think by Saturday, I'm gonna wanna just sit on the couch unplugged. I don't know. It's gonna be a crazy weekend, mm -hmm. crazy week. Anyway, so then we'll be rearranging the furniture in the living room, deciding if we need to buy new end tables, maybe doing that on Saturday, along with grocery shopping, which we were gonna do Friday, but yeah, it's gonna be insane. It's 9.13 a.m. Thursday, May 26th. I almost said March. Um, I am headed to the grocery store. Our friend and cleaning lady is at the house working. Bob's upstairs in his office, also working. Um, and um, later I have a counseling appointment. It's going to be a busy couple of days coming up. I have to go run to the grocery store. <sighs> Tomorrow our sofa gets delivered. After Letty leaves, I need to start clearing a few things in the living room. <sighs> anyway, we're also having, of course, family dinner night tomorrow night and I need to go get some stuff for that. I'm just gonna get stuff for that. We'll do our regular weekly shopping after the crazy insaneness is over. But yeah, anyway, let's go see if we can get it done as timely as possible. I'll be back. Oh, this Masonic Lodge meeting, the house has been cleaned. Letty, we love you. I can't, with my asthma, do the cleaning as much anymore. So she is a godsend. Um, it really is May, but I mean, I do call Oregon the land of much water. <laughs> When Bob gets back, we'll finish getting the house ready for um, the delivery of the new sofa tomorrow. Let's hope it doesn't rain and that they will agree for a few extra bucks to help us move these out into the garage. Let's hope. All right, I'm gonna watch some YouTube. I'll be back. Friday, May 27th, 8.20 a.m. And it's gonna be as crazy a day as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> So last night, Bob did not get to go to his lodge meeting because halfway there, my Subaru's um, low pressure light for one of the tires came on. <laughs> so I guess we have a slow leak in one of the tires. He was worried about getting stuck somewhere in the middle of the night, not being able to get help. Anyway, so he just turned around and came home. <laughs> uh, anyway, and we also... Since you got home early, I had help to take the living room apart. And I've showed you all this view before, but yeah. So those two sofas are going to the children's house this weekend and we're getting a new sofa this morning. Hopefully the delivery guys will, for a couple extra bucks, help us move those two sofas into the garage. Husband's moving cars around right now. After the sofa comes, he's going to pull the Subaru up, fill the tire up with air enough that he can get it to the tire shop. It's going to be a busy, crazy day. Plus, we're having all the children over and Polly's parents for dinner. It's going to be a nutty day. I'll be back. are out. The guys helped us move them into the garage and the new ones are being unpacked. Cross your fingers we like what we ordered because you know room, that's a thing. I know right? We could just leave it like this. It's huge. Good to have a dance in here. Dance party. Yeah that's just from the um, felt feet. There's another spot right there.
Friday. It is about 10 a.m. Saturday, May 28th. Yes, I almost said March again because it's a thing. Anyway, we are just hanging around the house this morning before we go run errands because the son-in-law and his father are making trips back and forth from here to their house. The old sofas are going to their house because theirs, I think I've said before on camera, the one they had is horrible. Polyus hates it. It's hard as a rock. It's very uncomfortable. And despite the fact that our sofas, the old ones, are very 1980s in appearance and fabric, they're super comfortable. And um, I think they're going to just throw blankets over them until they either recover them or get something different. But anyway, they're really good quality sofas and super comfortable. So they're going to their house. I think they're a little big for their house. So I kind of wish that we had a camera over there right now to see them trying to get the sofas into the house and what it looks like. And if I can message the daughter and talk her into filming a little something, I'll include it here. I'll be back. shopping for a new coffee table. In the meantime, you just saw the video and or pictures from my daughter from their house featuring the old sofas and them rearranging them a couple of different times trying to figure out how to fit them in the house. To be fair, those sofas are really big. Our new sofa is bigger, but it, they're big. Um, they're like 44 inches deep. Um, and they're long. One is the one is huge, long, one very is long. Eight foot long. Eight, I think one is eight feet long, and the other one's like six feet. Six feet. And their living room is tiny. Yeah. Uh, but they really, really wanted them because they're super comfortable and they're great quality, and they'll last a, a long time. Yeah. They just didn't suit us anymore. So, anyway, she was complaining about trying to figure out how they're going to get them to work in their space and rearranging them. I said, "Well, good luck." But they're yours. <laughs> And I don't want them back, so don't bring them back. But the dog likes them. The dog loves them. So here's a picture here of Lily already making herself at home. She's like, okay, mom, I like these. I'm gonna lay down, I'm take gonna, a nap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna go off now and go buy a new, or try to buy, try to find a new coffee table. We know what we want, but finding it in stock anywhere is gonna, I think, be a challenge because hello, supply chain's bro still broken, so. But we'll see. 
So let's go see what we can find and I'll be back. Five furniture stores or six? We've been to a mall. We've which we walked around the mall. We've mm -hmm. been to Target, Macy's. Court furniture, Court, Broadway furniture, Broadway. a lot of places. A Nobody mall. has what we're looking for. That's kind of what we expected to be fair. So we're gonna head to Fred Meyer. They do have a few furniture pieces there. I doubt they have what we want, but we will look while we're there. Mainly we're gonna just get groceries. And then I think we're gonna have to go home and order what we want because yeah. As per usual, we're looking for something specific and nobody carries it. So, you know, not surprised. I'll be back. Shopping done and we did not find a coffee table, but we knew what we wanted. We'd seen something similar online. So we came home, checked a few listings and ordered it. I'll put the link down below for the coffee table we ordered. What do you think? It's just a small little table because that's what the space we have and we didn't want to clutter up the living room with a big giant piece of furniture. So anyway, it's kind of rainy and the front gutters are clogged again. And we came home and the water was just pouring out every which way. So Bob is getting out the big scary ladder and I need to hold it for him and make sure he doesn't fall off while he cleans it out really quick. And then maybe I can catch up on yesterday's and today's drawing because I haven't done any of that. Maybe. All right, I'll be back. Morning. It is Sunday morning. It's just before 10 o'clock. And yes, I forgot to close the vlog again last night. Anyway, it's been a crazy week between new sofa deliveries and screws in my tire of my car and family dinners with more people than usual. And it's been, it's all good, mind you. It's just been a week. So anyway, I hope you've all had a great week. I have an idea for another emotional art therapy piece, which I will hopefully be filming soon. I'm gonna start gathering supplies for it out of the closet today using what I have. Um, I also wanna mount one piece that I did on poster board a while back. I'll put a picture here. Um, onto foam core, so I need to, next time I go out, I need to grab some foam core. Ooh, a lot of, a lot of windows. Pop's not gonna like that. <laughs> anyway, um, and then my secret project is with people having to look for me, and we'll continue working on that. It's gonna be a long process, but anyway. And at some point, I'm going to start working again on the Etsy shop because sales have kind of died. Yes, I have an Etsy shop. Yes, I'm a rubber stamp and art foamies designer. And I also have my own line of stencils. So check out the video description and the link tree list of links. Anyway, it looks like it's going to rain today, but if it does clear up, we'll go for a walk. But that'll be in next week's vlog. We hope you've all had a good one and that you stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below or tag me in a post over on Facebook. And go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you do deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.